From Zanzi to the world stage, an African hip hop star making global business deals. Here's Kenan Forbes, family man and musician taking things to new heights each year. I think I have to declare that this is my very first time doing this. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I'm not doing it with anyone, I am doing it with one of Africa's best, if not the world's best, hip hop artists. You know, I don't know if, does that describe you? It's pretty well, close, pretty close. Pretty close. One of, yeah. One of Africa or the world, which one is it? Definitely the world. The world, yeah, mm -hmm. I believe so. Thank you. Thank um, you for that great introduction. You're welcome. So, what's in a playlist right now? What's on my playlist? Mm -hmm. Who? What's on my playlist? I'm. I don't necessarily have a playlist. The only playlist I have is like a gym playlist, so that I Which have like is. a playlist for gym. So normally when I go to gym, I listen to like up tempo music, like a lot of EDM music, a lot of like dance music, Daft Punk. Uh, uh, who else? Two Door Cinema Club. I also got a lot of trap on their Future, uh, Young Thug. Um, and then in my own time, geez, I, I listen to mostly older music. Um, Which is uh, what kind of music? Uh, any type of music. I listen to like um, music that inspire me in terms of samples uh -huh. um, because I'm obviously working on an album uh, which I want to put out next year. And um, I find that when I, when I work on music, it's easier for me to not listen to rap music so that I don't get influenced too easily. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I'm listening to like... Uh, Jeez, so so many different types of music. I listen to Michael Jackson. If I'm in a Michael Jackson mood, on the way here I was listening to music from a video game that I'm currently playing. I get inspiration from like all different types. How of How often places. do you play video games? Every single day. What? Every single day. Yeah, I'll, I've always been a big. Do you video have game. like the latest um, video games? Everything. Yeah, I've got it all. I've got my like TV set up to the internet. Got my PlayStation set up to the internet, so like when a new game drops, I like get it instantly, play it all night when I'm done working. It just allows me to kind of um, get into a space where I don't have to be me; I can be someone else, mm -hmm. like through a video game. Obviously, which you is have kind the of, character that you yeah, play into. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it can be. It, it's a it's a good therapeutic kind of escape for me. It allows my brain to just like go to another place. Yeah. Okay, what is your best South African meal? My best South African meal has to be snook, bright snook and um, roast potatoes. Can you make that? Can I? Make that. Can, Can you I make it? snook? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I bright snook the other day. I did, I had to call my mom. I had to figure out how to do it. But it's easy. You just you know, take some spices, uh, apricot jam, um, peppers, uh, like some marinade, you mix it all together. And you baste the snook, you put it in like a thing, uh -huh. put it on the flames, you know, and that's my, my favorite South African meal. That's what I pretty much grew up, um, that's what I grew up eating. I was born in Cape Town and that's what we grew up eating. Nice. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the real thing, mm -hmm. which is obviously about the entire um, cover since you are our cover star. Thank you. Thank you for making me a cover star. Thank you for being our cover star. When I travel abroad and people ask me or people, I hear people listening to your songs or people playing your songs, I'm always very proud. We've seen a lot of artists come and go, like they would have one hit song and we're like, okay, what happened to this one? But you managed to maintain it. How, how did you do it? Mm, I don't think there's, there's, there's any uh, formula or manual to, to, to how you do it. I think the easiest way to stay consistent and to stay relevant is to really have a love for what you do, uh, a passion for your craft, to take yourself seriously and to take your craft seriously, you know. I believe that me being able to do what I do is really a gift from God that I've been given to make music you know, music is a spiritual thing. Music is not something that uh, anybody can just do. It's a talent that God gives you. And the best way to honor that gift is to take it seriously and to um, make sure that you try and push yourself as far as you can. So that's what I've always tried to do every year. I've always tried to be a, a better version of myself, not just year by year, but day by day. Every day, 
is a new opportunity to kind of um, improve on who you were yesterday or make up if yesterday wasn't a good day or, or, or so forth and so forth. And I think that I love what I do and it makes me feel alive when I'm on a stage. And I, I, you know, all the extra other things that come with it, you know, maybe fame or money or whatever it may be, those are, those are bonuses. You know, I really take my craft seriously and that's how I, I think I've, I've, I've maintained it.